In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to create contacts in Exchange Server 2010. Now, contacts are basically uh, a way to create an address book entry in your, in your global address list for a recipient outside of your organization. So uh, perhaps uh, a contact in another business that you partner with or a commonly used uh, email address that staff in your organization need to uh, send external emails to. So we can manage contacts here in the Exchange Management Console under Recipient Configuration in this Mail Contacts section. So we'll just go ahead and create a new mail contact which can be uh, launched from the Actions pane or just from the right click menu. And much like uh, user mailboxes, you can create uh, a new contact or an existing contact. So a contact object is much like a user, it is an Active Directory object and by making it a mail contact you are mail enabling that contact. So contacts can exist in Active Directory for all kinds of purposes such as uh, just for phone numbers and addresses and things like that. And When we're mail enabling we're also making it possible to send email to that contact. So in my case I'm going to create a new contact and I'm happy for that to go to the default uh, organizational unit for now. So we just uh, give the contacts some, uh, some uh, properties such as first name and last name. So I'm going to call mine uh, Exchange Server Pro Gmail and give it a alias of Exchange Server Pro Gmail. And here we configure an external email address. So the contact will have two addresses. It will have an address within your organization because it needs a valid internal SMTP address. But then it has this external email address which is the actual outside email address that mail will be delivered to. So in my case, I'm going to make this exchange server pro at gmail.com. So that's if it, for mail enabling and contact. There's not uh, too many details that you really need to enter. So I'll go ahead and click new. And that task is now complete. So now we can see this contact uh, appearing here in the Exchange Management Console. What I'll do now, just still with my administrator account, is going to Outlook Web App and just see if that's now appearing in the address list as well. Okay, and you can see that that name is resolved in the address list and it's resolving to that external SMTP address. So let's go ahead and just make sure that works as far as end-to-end -end email uh, flow is concerned. We'll say test email to contact. Send that off. Now let's have a look at the Gmail inbox. We can see in the Gmail inbox that test email has arrived.